Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Paul, and this show I like to go over things that I'm curious about and things that I've looked into, I like to share. So with today's video, I wanted to discuss something in relation to uh, one of my other videos from last week on the idea of the psychology when you don't train a couple generations on what money actually is, how it's going to change it for the long term, how it's going to be a lot more uh, subjective, and that, I kind of went into a lot of those things on that other video, but Another thing that I was thinking about in terms of a psychology perspective and the future was this thought right here. So the idea of gaming is new. And what I mean by new, these past you know, 10, 20 years uh, type of new. The idea that, well, let's put it this way. One of the glories of football, basketball, soccer is that a kid can dream one day about being on the field and playing in front of uh, tens of thousands of people and then knowing that they're playing in front of millions of people on the TV and po they could possibly get paid uh, millions and millions of dollars. That is the glory of what uh, a kid can look forward to with sticking out uh, sports and all the working out and all the just the tough times and all of what that entails, just the grind. As I was thinking about this, in terms of, again, where the world's going, where psychology, where the kids who are kids right now and then their kids, where all this is going, I was really, re I, I am curious. I do think that physical sports will always be around because obviously we need to do that kind of stuff. But I almost, not I almost, I do think physical sports will become a tier two thing to what esports will be. If you think about the rigor that's involved on a physical level compared to the rigor on the mental level that's involved with esports, it's still a thing. Like it's still very, very hard to compete and it's gonna get more and more competitive because uh, the barrier to entry is you know, a lot less than what it is in physical sports. But with that being said, I think the kids who are growing up now, the much, much higher percent of them are going to go into esports rather than physical sports because they're going to be like, uh, I don't want to get injured. Uh, I don't want to go do all those workouts like crazy. Like maybe they'll be want to be fit because they realize it can help them perform better, like with their brain and everything like that. But they're not going to want to go through all the stuff. And there's going to be a lot more money in esports because the eyeballs on esports, uh, which that's what drives everything in relation to business. And so I was just thinking about this also from a sports team perspective in owning a sports team. I was like, are the wealthiest people, are they going to be owning physical sports teams or are they going to be owning esports teams? And then this also happened on the flip side. I was like, okay, if that means more money is going to be moving to esports, what does that mean for the contracts of the people who are playing the physical sports? Are they still going to be willing to go through all of what they need to go through and get paid less? and be viewed as less in the sports world. It's going to be a very, very interesting dynamic that I think ends up coming up and watching kind of the play between the two. And I think you're going to have like a lot of people initially try and reject uh, esports as like a thing. But I think numbers wise and viewers wise, I think it's going to take over. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of set in stone. So I am curious to to hear what you guys have to say on this. And if you've thought about this before, uh, in terms of both the money side of things and a culture psychology side of things on where these celebrities are almost viewed and it, that there'll be like a tier one and a tier two. And um, it's almost as if everything is built against the physical sports for what is to come. As far as like the injuries, the money, the, the viewers, um, what people aspire to be. I mean, all this stuff is kind of getting crazy with where it's going, but with with what I see, this is, I think, going to be the future. So I'm curious to hear y'all's thoughts down in the comments below, agree or disagree, but especially if you disagree, I would like to hear uh, your reasons why you would think that the physical sports would remain dominant um, and still bring more eyeballs, still bring more uh, money, more business into uh, that category. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.